Hello you guys and welcome back to already the last video of this Christmas series. Today I have another guest in the studio and this time I invited a good friend, Tess. Come on in! Hello! How's your day? It's good. That's I'm good. good. That's nice to hear. Yeah. Life's good. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Relatively <Doable>. good. <laughs> okay. So today we're going to work on the new Christmas project. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell us what you want to make? I wanted to make a baking tray but in the shape of a gingerbread in which mm -hmm. I can bake either like a cake or like a cookie. Oh, that's stuff. really adorable. So, yeah. yeah. And then also decorate it yes. as if it's a cookie. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. That sounds really nice. Okay, yeah. let's get over to the table and get started. Yeah. Because we want to make the shape of the gingerbread kind of perfect, we thought we'd just print it out and then use it to trace the form. Because otherwise it's quite difficult to make it perfectly symmetrical and all of that. So to just save us some work and to make it a little bit easier for ourselves, we just print it out and now we can cut it out. And then we'll roll out the slab and cut out the shape of the cookie. Mm -hmm. Do you want to cut it out? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, just on scissors. <laughs> Thank you. This is gonna take a while. Let's cut <laughs> to the end. This is going to be like the bottom part and also that will make the shape of the whole baking tray. But we can either roll out a slab for the side as well and make like one long stroke that we're going to put on top of the rim of the cookie. Oh, to make it like high. To make it quite high. Okay. But if you want to make it a bit, a little bit lower and also maybe make it look a little bit more handmade, you can also just roll out some clay and place that at the rim and then just pinch it a little bit higher. So I what of those would you prefer? I prefer the last one because I okay. like it to be a bit imperfect and yeah. I just want it to mm -hmm. be for like simple cookies and stuff, more mm -hmm. like that, like uh, the low type of pies and stuff, so mm -hmm. I think that's perfect. Okay, then we're going to go for that one. Perfect, perfect. timing, I love it. So now we'll just roll out a slab and then we'll cut this out. So I got some clay here for you. Okay. Quite a lot, but well, yes. should be fine. <laughs> Okay, we're going to roll it out on top of a wooden shelf so that the clay doesn't stick to the table. And here I have a roller for you. Thank you. Go for it. <laughs> I have zero muscles, so this is gonna take a while, people. No, it's fine. Hang in there. Damn. Yeah, it's going well. And maybe turn it around every now and then so that it doesn't stick to the wood. That's right. It needs to be a little bit longer towards <laughs> that side, so if you can roll that side, then the cookie will fit perfectly. <laughs> Would it fit? It fits, mm, but is it perfectly. like, is it like yeah. nice and smooth? Is it I think good it's enough? quite okay. It's a little bit thinner here, but I don't think that's a problem. It's just a rim where we're going to place the rim on top, oh, yeah. so that's not really a problem. So I think that's fine. So now we're going to cut it out. Yes. Are you ready for that? <laughs> yeah. I think so. I got a little knife for you here, so you can now just... Yes, it has one side, so oh, I got a little okay. circular, yeah. and that's the side of cuts. So now just... Yes. Oh, I... Don't have do steady it. hands. Now just move slowly. Amazing. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Now I can just take off the clay around it. really good. You can also take off the paper. Okay, so now we're going to make the rim on top of it. So I'll just take the clay that we just used as well. And we're just going to roll this out and then attach it at the rim, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. And then what I like to do is first, yeah, because we just used it, you need to flatten it a bit so that the air bubbles go out of the clay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just roll it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I just roll it out in between my hands and after that you can also roll it on top of the table mm -hmm. to make it nice and thin. Yeah, you don't want it to make it too thin. You also want to have some uh, clay so that you can pinch it a little bit higher because mm -hmm. you do want to make it a little bit higher than this, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. But is this done? Yeah, I think it's perfect. Yeah. We're actually going way quicker than I am, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about to say. And then we can just place it at the rim. Just put it on top? Yeah, just put it on top, yeah. Yeah, there we we'll just cut it or pinch it really hard so it's quite sharp. That looks cute. 
I think it looks quite good. <laughs> Don't you? It does become a little <laughs> bit smaller, but that's okay. It will become thinner when you pinch it upwards, and you can also pinch it a little bit outwards if you like. Okay, let's try that, because the head looks a bit wonky right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not very circular anymore, but trust the process, okay? okay. Trust the process. Then I'll add this one here as well. And just pinch it here at the legs. And I'll just cut it off here. We also, of course, have to attach, attach it to the clay underneath it. But since mm -hmm. it's the same dryness, we can just do that by just pressing it on top of it. Oh, you don't have to do the... No, we don't have to scratch. Some That's when... You. Yeah, you've... Oh, you've watched some videos, yeah. Often I used some vinegar and also scratched it to apply it uh, or attach it. Mm -hmm. But now the clay is still wet and then it's easier to attach it. And since we're also going to pinch it a lot, then you can just put a lot of pressure on it and change the shape a bit. And then you can just press it on top of each other because it's the same dryness. So then we don't have to scratch it and use vinegar. So for example here on the side, you will have to just press the top onto the bottom so that you don't see any creases, if that makes okay. sense. And also on the and inside? There's one then? part, yeah, also on the inside. And for the inside we can make it a little bit thinner because we're going to press it upwards a little oh, bit. Yeah. Okay, now comes the pinching part, where we're just pinching the rim upwards a little bit. So just press it, yeah, press it between your fingers a little bit upwards, so the rim becomes a little bit higher. And then oh. also try to keep the, the shape in. The shape in. This, this head is not <laughs> Yeah, not it has not really perfectly head. circular anymore, but that, <laughs> that will be fine, it will be fine. While we're working on this, I will ask you some Christmas-related questions, mm -hmm. as I have been doing with all of my guests, which I really enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Can you tell us? I'm gonna give a very basic, steady answer. Yes, that's just okay. spending time with my family and friends and just, mm -hmm. I don't know, doing cozy stuff together, I guess. Okay. <laughs> just fancy kind of dinners cozy things, or like oh. watching a Christmas movie. Or mm -hmm. Just us, like the last year when we were here, mm -hmm. oh, just yeah. we did a little baking all everything and <laughs> oh, everything yeah. went completely wrong, but <laughs> it was yeah. still fun We baked with a group of friends and the, the brownie went quite wrong. I think the yeah. rest went quite well, but the brownie well, was kind of Well, the rest of was also very, till the last minute it was like very questionable if it would actually end yeah, but, up alright. Yeah, like, and it did end up alright, but yeah. it was just, yeah. the whole thing was kind of We had to trust chaos. the process with that as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that type of stuff. We also have to smooth out the creases on the inside so that it won't crack while drying. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing to eat during Christmas, during Christmas time? Does not have to be dinner, but just can be. I don't know. There was like one year where every year at the second day of Christmas, mm -hmm. we're going to my grandma's to just eat there. Yes. But she doesn't have like a very big kitchen, so we just get random stuff. And one time we got Chinese and it was so <laughs> random and so fun. That's that really cute. That really, I don't know, that really made me happy. So oh. every time... Your favorite thing to eat is Christmas, <laughs> Christmas Chinese. Christmas Chinese food. <laughs> okay. I just love the idea of it, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice. But aside from that, I don't know, just something with cinnamon, mm -hmm. like cookies, oh, that mm -hmm. type of stuff. Cinnamon roll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I made one last time and oh. it was really... Sounds good. Oh yeah, my next question was, does your family have any special Christmas traditions that may be different from other families? I don't know if you're, <laughs> I don't know if you're now eating Chinese every year. But <laughs> <laughs> we do um, eat at my grandma's place every year and it's always mm -hmm. like something not fancy, let's just say mm -hmm. that. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that type of tradition, I guess. It's mm -hmm. always Chinese food or just some random, random yeah, stuff we have together. Not too fancy, just laid just back. Yeah. Everything. That's easy to get to take out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so, yeah. quite cool, yeah. That's the only Business thing. This has to be complicated to be a good Christmas. Yeah, that's what yeah, I think. It's about people. And my last question for you is, what is your favorite Christmas so far, if you have one? Like, what made one year special? I don't think I have. Uh, because our family doesn't really do a lot for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So we never do something like... We always do kind of the same things, same study things, so I think it's just fun to do it, but it's not that one of 
that like stood out the most. Oh, okay. It's we do more like stuff same, for New yeah. Year's and like, oh, okay. that type oh, that's stuff. Nice. Not really Christmas. Okay. What do you do with New Year's? Oudjaarsdag, old, <laughs> old year. Last day of the year. Yeah. <laughs> the last day of the year. <laughs> yes. Uh, we go to the beach, just to the, the oh. four of us, and just just for a walk. Or? Yeah, just like. You don't at go the swim. Oh, 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 yeah, that's a nice touch. Let everything, let everything flow. Let everything outwaaien for yes. the new year, so that we oh, can have yeah, a fresh start, start. I guess. Start with a fresh mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is really cool. So that yeah. I do like that, but nothing special for Christmas. Okay. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Okay, the gingerbread cookie baking tray is looking a lot better already. It yes. still it looks a little bit rough. At some parts. <laughs> yeah. So yes, what we does. can do is take a sponge and go over it with that. So what I do is just wet the sponge and then you just go... Is it just in. water? Yes, yeah, just water. Oh, okay. And then you just go into the creases and just go over it like this and then it becomes nice and smooth as you can see quite quickly. So it's quite easy. And then you can also just go over the rim if you'd like. Just get rid of these little lines here. You just smooth it out and then you can do it with the whole cookie. Okay. How much water is too much? Mm, yeah, it can't really be too much. Oh. Unless like really like, dripping. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, and if it's too wet you can also just go over it um, with a dry sponge and dry it a little bit. I can't wait to see how you're going to decorate it. Me <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Do you have a plan for that or are you just going with the flow? I'm just gonna wing it, I guess. Okay. Well, there Love is. That. I think I'm just gonna steal this idea because it's very, yeah. very safe. It's quite good, yeah. But of course, you also have to decide some colors or probably something red. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do you have white? I do yes, have white, right? yes. Okay, maybe. Hmm. You can also mix the glazes. So if you want to make pink, you can also mix the oh. red with the white. That's good to know. Do you want to come next year as well? Make this, a make this oh, our tradition! Yes! Do you think it's almost finished or not? I think like we ooh, also. No. Oh. Oh. I think you said it very British. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we also need to smooth out is the rim at the bottom, which I always like to make a little bit rounder because, like here, it can be quite sharp mm -hmm. and it's not really nice when you're taking it out of the oven or something. So we can now blow dry it so it's a little bit drier and then we can turn it around. And then we'll work on the bottom and I will show you how we're going to do that in a second. Okay, blow dryer. Actually, heat gun. <laughs> heat gun? <laughs> you want me to do it? Yes, please. Okay, so we're just drying it and I'm just moving it around so that it dries evenly. I think this is good for now. I'm gonna slowly lift it. Okay, oh, that's... that's okay, we're going to turn around <laughs> towards ourselves. What do you mean? Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, you did okay. that perfect. Amazing. Didn't even know. You can put quite some pressure on it to make it nice and round. Because you don't want any sharp edges when you're using it. And just like this, we just smooth it out with our fingers. And sometimes if it is too dry, you can just take a sponge and do it with some water. But I feel like this should work just fine. Okay, now we'll turn around again. Do you pick Me? up that side you or shall oh. I do it? <laughs> this is gonna go. Yes, it was better with two hands. Okay. Four hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. That went quite well. Okay, now it is time to decorate. Oh, yeah. Do you need to sit here so you're looking straight at it or? No, I can do this. Okay. I'm left-handed, I always look at my paper like this. Okay. Oh, I remember that from high school. <laughs> Her paper was always like, <laughs> turn around and she was right like that. I don't think it's gonna be better than this. 
is wel lief. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Oh my god, that works. Yes. But now I need to make it thicker. No, but you can also leave it like this. Yeah, but then I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay, okay, you do, you do. You do. <laughs> Love it. Okay, mm. so now we're finished basically. Oh, yes. So we're now going to just let this dry for a week or two and then I will fire it and I will put a clear lace on top of it so that you can also actually use it and it's food safe. And then I will bring it to you and give it to you. So thank you for being here and I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I like this. That's nice to hear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>